Our righteous fact in school is a place where you feel safe and a place that you think like that you belong. Škola priateľská deťom je škola, ktorá skutočne rešpektuje, rešpektuje práva detí, rešpektuje ich názory. A whole school approach to child rights education aims to fundamentally transform the whole school environment. So it's not just about getting child rights into the classroom um, in terms of what children hear as part of a lesson plan or an activity. It's about embedding child rights into the functioning of the school on an everyday basis. For the rich, for them, because the fundamental is a missão da Unicef é exatamente divulgar e contribuir para a aplicação do, da Convenção sobre os Direitos da Criança. Sverige é bunden av barnkonventionen och det betyder att skolorna ska tillämpa den, använda sig av den, men det har visat sig vara svårt att göra det i praktiken. Så därför behövs det en metod för hur skolorna ska använda sig av barnkonventionen och låta den genomsyra skolans hela verksamhet. Och det är eh, rättighetsbaserad skola svaret på. Det är definitivt den här golden thread som runs through right from the child right through up to governance. In, in, at each layer um, it permeates policy, decision making, planning um, and also the lessons, the learning that's taking place. Skydd mot utnyttjande och Utbildning. mot att bli lämnad. Möjlighet att uttrycka sin åsikt. Närande, Närande mat. mat. Ja, och rent vatten och ja. sjukvård är jätteviktigt. Ja. Vi behöver ren luft. Ja. Och mm. din måste vi göra om möjligt. Skydd mot diskriminering. The models of whole school approaches to child rights education vary depending on the local context, but they tend to have some things in common. Above all, they actively promote child rights and they use a child rights approach to the way of doing things in the school. The Convenção says that the children should be heard in relation to all the questions that they say respect. Well, it's not true. The children normally are not heard. Uma vez que a metodologia deste programa uh, incentiva a isso mesmo, a participação dos alunos, a liberdade de, de escolha. I think it's great because um, the adults listen to your opinions and your ideas. Myslím si, že je velký rozdíl v tom, keď som chodila do školy já, keď som byla malá, ako terajší děti mají úplně jinou možnost vyjadřit svoje pocity a svoje názory. It's about the ethos, it's about how we respect everybody. It's not the loudest person is heard, everybody is heard. Children and staff don't just hear about child rights, they actually live child rights on a daily basis. Children grow up understanding their own rights and respecting the rights of others. People are treated as equals amongst themselves in their classrooms, but also with adults as well. I think that that's very powerful. The children learn about things that they wouldn't learn in, an, in a school that isn't rights respecting. They feel that that's very special. Não chega só o aprender a ler e a escrever, mas também aprender a ser um cidadão ativo. Um grande pilar da educação não é criar jovens ativos, conscientes da realidade. We serve quite a diverse community, we're socio-economically and um, culturally with multi-faiths as well. What it really provided for us was a secular framework in which we which could underpin um, every all aspects of school improvement, a very clear language of rights which we thought that everybody could understand and access. To be in a rights respecting school is very important and a rights respecting school helps, uh, uh, allows everyone to have, have other rights and we don't just learn but we also do things about it. It encompasses exactly what the UNCRC want for our children and that's uh, their rights.